I don't even know what time it is. I've just had this thought on my head that I can't get it off, so I gotta share it. And uh, what we're talking about is sunscreen, okay? I just watched a YouTube video, and then it really blew my mind and had to do some research on the whole bleaching of the coral reefs. And I didn't realize that one of the biggest factors for coral bleaching is um, our sunscreen and the chemicals in it more specifically. So for those of you who don't know, coral bleaching is when the coral reefs die, they turn like a white color, and it's similar to like look like if you just dump bleach on them, you know? And uh, basically, what what it is is that if you're buying sunscreen that has, and let me look at the list, oxybenzone, um, actually I'm gonna throw up the graphic right here. If there's any of those chemicals that are in red, orange, and yellow, don't be buying that sunscreen. Um, if you, when you're buying new sunscreen, it's got to have only w one or two ingredients, and those are titanium oxide and zinc oxide. If you're buying anything else than that, you're contributing to the uh, coral bleaching. And don't think I, like, I'm coming at you or anything, because I was doing the same thing not too long ago. Um, but yeah, basically, whenever you buy sunscreen, flip it over, look at the ingredients, and uh, here, I'll throw it back up. Take a screenshot of this, and then save it to your phone next time you go into the store to buy sunscreen. But I'm going to just let you know right now... Uh, like brands that are out, your Copper Tone, your Banana Boat, forget about them, they're gone. Like, they're all fucking up. And, like, the reason that they're doing that is because it's cheap and it's easy to just use oxybenzone. They don't give a rat's ass about what's actually happening to our planet or the consumer. Because it's also not, it all, while, yeah, while it's not good for the planet, it's also not good for your skin, for your body, for, like, what's going on. Because those chemicals just leak through your skin. It's messed up, man. And um, what I didn't realize is that the reefs are responsible for producing more oxygen than all of the trees on Earth, which I had no idea. I thought trees were the number one producer. So that's just even another bigger factor that we got to save the reefs, besides them just being like a gorgeous piece of our Earth. So yeah, if you want to keep breathing, switch up your sunscreen. And like, well, not only is better sunscreen better for the Earth, the planet, also when it doesn't have all those chemicals on it, it's most likely not tested on animals. And hey, that's another win. So win, 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 win. Switch up your sunscreen. Uh, share this with your friends. Just try to get the information out. Um, that's all it really is. Just quick, simple things that we can do to change up our lifestyle that make a huge impact on the planet. So peace. Buy new sunscreen. I'm out. Bedtime. Yo, and then for those who are interested in learning more, I'm going to drop some links below that uh, will help you learn more about um, the damages that sunscreen and the nasty chemicals in them are doing to um, not only your health but also to the planet. So check those out.